endless summer. That's what the superintendent of Granite City Schools is calling this third week of August after the first day of classes was pushed back once again. Our Jasmine Payute is live in front of the high school now with more. Jasmine. Kay, in this case, too much of a good thing has students in Granite City anxious to go back to school and be with their peers. I'm not sure if you can hear it now, but band members actually were seen taking their equipment from inside the school outside just so they can practice. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see behind me. Restoration crews are here working to get the school back open. This after construction woes and flooding made it unsafe for students to enter. It's a far cry from the initial excitement of summer. I don't want to see my friends and I'm like excited to go to school. Believe it or not, kids in the Granite City School District are ready to hit the books, but the first day of school keeps getting pushed back. I'm kind of tired of sitting at home. For Gayla Davis Denise, the prolonging of summer is only part of her problems. A flash flood nearly a week ago submerged all of her family's vehicles and sent a few feet of water rushing into her basement. The whole city of Granite was completely underwater. Five on your side caught up with Gayla as an insurance adjuster checked out her cars, her little ones not too far away. Trying to get things done from the flood, trying to clean up without the kids in the way, trying to deal with the adjusters, the professionals without the kids here. Um, just the whole cleanup process and the kids are here. They're overwhelmed. They want to go to school. This morning she learned this juggling act would continue on a little longer. A notice sent out to parents say students will have a tentative start date of August 26th, a full seven school days after their initial start date. When I'm worried it's going to stretch it out at the end of the year. I don't know if it's going to use up days, if they'll have to go longer, if their breaks will be shorter. I really don't know. The superintendent of Granite City School says this delay isn't because of flooding. Instead, the district needs the EPA to finish air quality testing following an unrelated ceiling construction project from over the summer, a closure that affects every student in the district. So just hopefully we can get the kids back in school as soon as possible. The superintendent declined to do any on camera interviews today, but says he's working diligently to get the school back open. Now tomorrow right here, an environmentalist will be here to test the school's air quality. Depending on those results, schools could be delayed even longer. We'll keep you posted. Reporting live in Granite City, Jasmine Payute, 5 on your side.